follow YouTube and people who like really cool stuff. Well, I got another package in. Yep. You're gonna have to agree, it does get addictive. Here's the package. Uh, boxes. A little beat up. Hopefully the contents aren't so bad. But, let's get right to it. Let's look and see how we're gonna open this puppy. Looks like how using this okay so my my battery died of course every time I go to videotape something it my battery says oh I got plenty of juice but uh, yeah two minutes into it and it dies anyways what I purchased it's a Condor tool and knife. Their version, it's called Dynasty Dadao War Sword. It's 3.4 pounds. Overall length is 32 inches. The blade is 21 and a quarter inches. And it's made from 1075 carbon steel. Retail price that I paid, $79.95. Some of the features on this. It's, like I said, nice, 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 one-piece construction, nice thick steel. The full tang is one-quarter inch thick. I see no, like, welding on this ring, so I don't know quite how they, they did it. The handle's wood. I think it's kind of smooth, and it does give it a gigantic meat cleaver look to it so I'm going to wrap it in uh, paracord so I'll do a little video when I decide on the pattern or if I do a simple wrap just to show you the end result uh, it does have a little scratch on it I don't know if you can yeah you can see it now it's right there so it's not super perfect but I get what I got was a blade that I have no fear in chopping something with it or slashing because uh, the the actual Blade is not razor sharp, but let's see if I can find a piece of paper. And there we go. All my notes and stuff are on this one, so I'll cut that. Anyway, so this is right out of the box. As you can see, it didn't do anything that time, but let's try it again. Yeah, she's not she's not cutting down, Johnny. She was cutting, but there we go. Get her, a little, get her warmed up, as the other YouTuber said. Yeah, so it's sharp enough to slice paper a little bit. But this is, it's uh, more of a apple seed cross section on the blade. So um, with the weight of three and a quarter pounds and the shape of the blade dynamics itself, this is ample for what it needs to do if ever I need to do anything with it this is a cross between a machete and a short sword for me and like I said it's sharp enough that it should do the trick if I ever need to split any hairs or zombies or wood or whatever I'm wicked happy very inexpensive like I said I was looking at a cold steel one I did go to the uh, site and saw the price difference, and you know I just couldn't. If I was going to do that, I would bought I would have bought another katana, but a higher grade katana. So this, like I said, fulfills a role for me. This is like the AK workhorse of my swords. This will be my my chopper. Probably the first cutting or video uh, test cutting stuff will be this one. Came from Condor Tool and Knife. That's the company who made it. However, they were out of stock too, because I guess this is kind of a popular one. And I actually purchased this through bladematrix.com. Definitely cool blade. Uh, definitely not worried about using it. I'm not worried about using my katana, but I think until I can get practice swinging down, this would be kind of the way to go, because it's, like I said, AK-ish. I don't think I'm going to hurt this one too much if I do a misstroke. 
where even a really nice katana, if you uh, your swing cut is off or bad, you, you could snap it. I mean, or bend it, but I don't think I'll be bending this. I, I don't really intend to cut anything too much anyways, but um, comes with a really nice sheath. It's one of those ones that opens on the side. See if I can get it in here without cutting myself. I'll put it away. Well, I'll put it away for now because I'll wipe it down before it's really put away. Anyways, nice, nice fit and finish on the scarboard. All nice stitching. Couple, couple rivets. Like I said, it's uh, pretty sure it's made in South America. Because on one side it says Condor, and on this side it says El Condor. Anyhow, uh, thanks for tuning in and watching. I don't know how many more blades I'll get. They do say it's addictive, but I really don't need. It's bad enough. I got to carry all the ammo and arms that I have now, and uh, you know you can't carry 15 swords. But for the people who don't get ready in my life for any kind of event I'd like to have some stuff to give them that I would feel confident they could use the Dadao Chinese war sword was a peasant weapon they used to give them to everybody uh, I'll probably have to edit the crap out of this one too but I'm really happy with it it was only like I said under a hundred bucks and uh, it's what I was looking for anyhow Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Okay, bye.